Twitch chat, half amazing and half terrifying. It's a terrible, glorious, magical mess is the best way I can describe it. So the thought of Twitch playing a video game together, um, I mean, that's the ultimate sense of community. And it's really fascinating watching, you know, what happens in something like Twitch plays Pokemon and watching the bizarre ways that it can go. One of the biggest milestones on Twitch was a phenomenon called Twitch plays Pokemon. And this is something that actually trended internationally it was being covered by media who don't cover Twitch, who don't cover gaming. The idea of Twitch Plays Pokemon is that it is a stream where people watching the stream are playing the game via inputs into Twitch chat. So people in chat could type directions like left, right, up, down, and impact the gameplay. Thousands and thousands of people are trying to control it all at once. You would think there's no way that somebody could make progress, but they end up coordinating. It makes you a little scared for the hive mind at times. <laughs> Another appeal of it too is the push and pull between people who are like, we gotta do this, we can pull this off. And there's this other like contingent who are like, we're gonna ruin this, that's where we get our fun from it. makes me scared for the future of humanity and excited for the future at the same time. Something that we would have never thought of, but it was one of our community's members' ideas. I am the creator of a Twitch channel known as Twitch Plays Pokemon, which is best known for a playthrough of Pokemon Red that took place over 16 days. Immediately prior to me creating Twitch Plays Pokemon, I had a job working on pornographic websites as a web developer. I was forced to quit my job as I believed the subject matter was impeding me from dealing with the result of multiple failed relationships. Valentine's Day was very near at the time, and so I was wanting to work on something to distract me from all that and to maintain my confidence in my programming ability. I was inspired by SaltyBet, another Twitch channel where people bet fake money on the outcome of Mugen matches where computer-controlled characters fight each other. I was also wanting to improve my JavaScript skills as the usefulness of being proficient at JavaScript was only increasing. Twitch Plays Pokemon exploded in popularity shortly after beginning. Each day I woke up and saw the view count much higher than it was the day before and I thought it was absurdly high and couldn't possibly get any higher, which it then did, repeatedly. It was so bizarre to watch this thing grow because internally it started, you know, it had like 50 viewers and internally we said, oh, check out what this guy did. I'm like, well, wonder if it'll get to 100 viewers. And then like an hour later, like, oh wow, this has grown. At its peak viewership, we had 122,000 people controlling one game. At the time it was, for many people, kind of an entryway or a gateway to Twitch. It was like, wait, people can do this? That's possible? They succeeded. Twitch plays Pokemon, beat Pokemon. That's probably the most significant, unique thing that ever happened on our platform. It very quickly evolved into fan art and fan works. They sort of turned a lot of the elements of the game into characters and ideas, and there's even like a sort of jokey religion formed around one of them. It quickly went from just this thing that people were doing for laughs into this like cultural event where people were making things based on it. They were saying, I'm into Twitch plays Pokemon, the thing, the entity, and I'm going to make stuff based on that. Twitch estimates that 1.16 million people contributed to button presses to the playthrough. I'm extremely proud of what I managed to accomplish, especially considering the circumstances. I'm very happy that I had come up with an idea that proved to be so popular and successful that other people have created things that are inspired by my idea. There have been other Twitch plays of games in all sorts of genres, so it's become this massive phenomenon. I've seen the creation of many new streams where automated chat interaction is the main focus, as well as games with Twitch integration where chat messages would influence what happens in the game. I wanted something that, that had a real-world outcome from Twitch chat. And it sort of just clicked one day, you know, and I thought, hey, you know, what about Twitch plays the stock market? 
In the past, there have been stock market games, there have been multiplayer stock market games, but nobody has ever made a multiplayer stock market game that uses real money. This game, basically, that lets anybody just sign up for Twitch and just start controlling my investments. You just vote what you want to buy or sell, and it will calculate which one got the most votes, and it will just execute that trade. You know, since launching, I've just just racking my brain, you know, what's next? What, I guess, industry or concept could be applied to this Twitch Plays thing? I think when game makers really start to think about integrating the viewing experience into the gaming experience, streaming is going to really be taken to the next level. Maybe, uh, I don't know, Twitch uh, does air traffic control or something? <laughs> you know, possibilities are endless.